Hi guys, back to read another section from The Wonders of Nature. I hope you guys are enjoying this book. I think there's so many fascinating things to learn out there and I hope you're enjoying it. The first thing I was gonna read you about is this guy right here. He probably looks familiar. I was thinking about um, maybe reading about animals that you might be able to find here in Massachusetts or maybe we'll read some other kinds of animals too. But we'll start here with the terrapin. The terrapin uh, does live in Massachusetts. We have something called a diamondback terrapin here. And I will show you actually some pictures before I start to read. This is a terrapin that lives in Massachusetts. It lives in marshy areas, you can see in the background here, maybe on close to Cape Cod. Uh, he's kind of smaller than I would imagine looking at. He is compared to a hand here. Very cute though. Here he is swimming in some water. You can see a little fish below him. So that's what it looks like. And let's get started reading about them. The terrapin. Baby terrapins call to each other through their eggshells before hatching. Hmm, that sounds very interesting. I didn't know that. So a terrapin. It's very hard to read this, this printing, but I'll do my best. Imagine wearing a suit of armor that you could never take off. Turtles spend their whole lives in that same smooth, snug shell, which keeps getting bigger as they grow. Did you guys know that? The shell grows as the turtle grows? Uh, it's very different than a hermit crab who gets rid of his shell when he outgrows it and puts on a new shell. The backbone and the ribs have even become part of the sturdy shield. In some Native American myths, the whole world is held up on the back of a giant cosmic turtle. Hmm, interesting. Freshwater turtles are sometimes called terrapins. They are equally happy in water as they are on land. And they love sunbathing to warm up. The false map turtle is a freshwater turtle named after the squiggly lines on the shell. These lines look a little like the looping curves that follow that show heights on a map. So you can see right here they're talking about them. You can see in the illustration right here we can see that beautiful eye and the beautiful markings on its head. So it looks different than the one that we have here in Massachusetts. You can see that he has more of like a spotted look to his skin and very, very beautiful though. Thought it'd be kind of cool to read about an animal that lives here in Massachusetts. Let's move on to the next one. So next I thought we would read about bats because we definitely have bats here in Massachusetts. I don't know if you've ever seen a bat when you're outside, but if you go out, you know, after the sun goes down and you see what you think are birds flying around in the sky, in circles usually, those are bats. So we have two kinds of bats here in Massachusetts. We have the little brown bat and the small and the big brown bat. We have a couple others, but those are the most popular. So let's read this quick thing about bats and then I'll show you a quick little snippet of what the big brown bat looks like. All right, so right up here, We'll read this caption up here by the picture. So bats are like furry weather forecasters. They sense tiny changes in air pressure that tell them what the weather will be like. Oh, so they must know when to fly in good weather and when to just stay home. All right. So let's read more about bats. How hard it must be to fly fast in the dark. Insect-eating bats, such as the long-eared myotis, have expert skills so they can zip around at night without bumping into things. They make lots of high-pitched squeaks that bounce off trees and buildings and other objects as echoes. The bat listens for the echoes to create a sound picture in their mind. So not you're not the only one who paints pictures in your mind. They paint pictures with their echoes. All right, that sounds so interesting. This technique of echolocation lets them track down many moths to eat. 
in many spook, uh, spooky stores, human-like monsters called vampires drink blood and can transform into bats to fly. These are a few species of bats that drink. There are a few species of bats that drink blood, but they live in forests and mainly feed on pig, pig leg, tapirs or farm animals. Bats are the only mammals that are able to fly. So, I'll just show you a quick little snippet here. This is a. It's called a large brown bat. But look right here in the background. This is much bigger bat that does not live in Massachusetts, but this does. And if you think right now, I don't want a bat in my neighborhood, think again because bats eat, you're going to hear in this little clip, thousands. One bat will eat thousands of bugs at night. Let's listen in. Really much, much smaller than the giant one right <laughs> next to it. That's, That's right. right. Goodness. Yeah, they're just little bats, but they eat tons of insects. They eat up to 5,000 insects every single night. Wow. They eat moths and flies and gnats and mosquitoes. You want bats flying around your neighborhood. Those are great. See that? I bet you didn't even think about it, that bats can be really a helpful neighbor. So that's something else that we do have here in Massachusetts. So during the day, you might want to, you know, do some bird watching, but at night, if you look up in the sky and you see birds, they really are probably bats. So look carefully and look at the way they fly. Thousands of insects in a single night. Interesting. The next thing we're going to read about is a newt. Have you ever heard of a newt or have you ever seen a newt? If you are outside and you see like a flat piece of rock or something like that, on the ground or a board, you might want to lift it up and see if there's a newt under there. My daughter Maggie, when she was little, she would find newts all the time, and you can too. You might not find one every time, but if you start looking now, you'll probably see a newt sometime this summer. Let's read about it now, and then I'll show you a quick little video of somebody finding a newt by lifting something up, just like you can. A newt. Some newts don't have lungs. They breathe only through their skin. Oh, it must be why there are all those little holes. They look like spots, but they must be a certain way that they breathe. Wow. Carefully stepping with one foot at a time, a newt climbs over wet leaves and moths. Young newts spend their time on land, but adult newts swim in ponds and lakes. Newts often hang still underwater, but they can dart forward to catch insects and snails by lashing their tails from side to side. Many newts are brightly colored. But this isn't just for show. It tells predators that newts are poisonous to eat. Eastern newts are bright red when they're young and highly poisonous. They change color to green when they become adults. Luckily, even if a newt is attacked, it loses a leg or tail, it can regrow it as many times as it needs to. Wow, that's fascinating. Here I have a picture of this. Um, scientist who's out and about in Massachusetts in the Berkshires and he finds a board and lifts it up and is going to show us an orange newt so we know that it's a young newt highly poisonous nobody's eating it so it doesn't matter but he does have safety gloves on let's read let's listen my, lo my gloves are clean by the way but... look at this little newt these things are fun awesome. to find a newt if you're outside. That's why it's fun you to play outside ever find in any backyards. But this is beautiful. Looks like he's missing a little bit of his tail. No, it's just the curve of it. Look at that newt. Let's figure oh, there this he is. To you guys, I'll just share a little bit of what I find. Look at that guy. Pretty cool, right, guys? So today we read about terrapins. We read about bats and we read about newts. These are all things that you do have here in Massachusetts. And when you spend a little time outside exploring in your backyard, you yourself might be able to find one. If you find anything cool, send me an email and let me know. I hope you enjoyed this passage from The Wonders of Nature, a great book. Bye, guys.
Have a nice weekend.